Barbershop Conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I just saw, I just went to the link LDVC Sports, and I'm so excited. You know, congratulations, 78, and everyone else involved. You know, I'll just get, I'll just tell a quick personal story. When I got kicked out of the uh, Golden Boy, Golden Boy press conference, I called, uh, I, I don't want to say their names, but I mean, in terms of people that are in, I call two people in boxing that that's very, very famous in boxing. And I call Town Biz and I call Dante's Boxing Nation. And then when I woke up in the morning, I saw about 10 or 15 videos from people from the LDBC and people and and other boxing channels. And I just want to say thank you guys had my back. So I got y'all back, man. It, it was just cool, man. I woke up. And I was like, damn, it felt like I was a part of my, like, my colleague. I ain't been on the team. I mean, I, I, I do that weekend warrior shit. But, you know, in terms of like my my playing pickup basketball with guys that I play with in the past. But I ain't been on the team since college. And, and, and it felt really good when you're when you're doing something. And and I believe I'm doing it for the right reasons. Um, I'm not doing it for monetary gain, obviously. It's not much money in boxing. Uh, but in terms of the, you know, you make decent money on YouTube if you get your followers up, but I'm going after, not going after them. I'm speaking the truth because it hits home for me, you know, and I want to be an upstanding man. I want to be a genuine dude. I want to be that guy that if I have a friend, I have a friend until I'm six feet tall, dead under the ground. You know what I'm saying? I want to be that dude where you know, you introduce me to your son and you're like, you need to listen to this guy, you know, and uh, I pride myself on that. And, and that's the biggest reason why I'm doing it, you know. Uh, but when I woke up that morning and I saw 10, 15 videos, Town Biz said, we got your back and y'all still doing it. And, and, and that's what's so amazing about it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just pure love, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy my shirt. I don't know what color I want yet. That's why I haven't ordered it yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so don't. <laughs> so uh, I'm still undecided on what color I want and what size I'm getting because I'm fucking shrinking right now. You know, I'm like 158. I fluctuate between 158 and 162 right now in terms of my workouts. You know, I hit my goal weight, so I don't know if I want it to be real, real fitted or just get it or just get a large. So if I have a bad, because I'm gonna have a great summer. If I have a bad fall, I'll still be able to fit into it and I can wear it to wear it to boxing events, man. And uh but just so you guys know, understand, it's not an attack on the fighters of Golden Boy and all that because I mean some of you guys may know or don't know. I've been working out at a gym that has Golden Boy fighters in it. And they have become my family. I've uh my my son runs I take my son to the boxing gym as much as I can. You understand what I'm saying? Just so he can hang around dad and, you know, do that type of stuff. So I don't want to pull him up and then put him in a new place, right? But beyond that, you know, it's, it says they have like two or three Golden Boy fighters. And Al Heyman fighter was working out there at one point. And uh, Golden Boy has donated money, allocated money to them. And this was well pre- I've been going to this gym for two years now. And uh, they've become family, right? And it pains me, right, that I have young fighters. And, and, and this is... This is how loyal I am to my mission statement. It pains me that they have young fighters in there who train me. These young fighters train me, right? Because I'm a novice at boxing. I, I mean, I, me and me and the average guy, I probably can beat up the average guy in terms of fighting and all that stuff. But if I get into a ring with a pro, I mean, he's just going to have his way with me for the most part. Not unless I can hit his ass first. But, you know, these guys train me. These, these guys motivate me. And uh, it bothers me to some degree that I can't, that I want to use my channel to elevate them, but it, but it lines the pocket of the guy that I absolutely despise and I am disgusted by. You know what I mean? And obviously, you know who that guy is. And I want to support these guys. You guys have seen my videos in the gym, and we argue all the time about it. I fucking hate him. Uh, uh, I try not to say his name, you know, and, and all these, and, and truth be told, all these Mexican gyms in L.A., you can't escape. They honestly, nine out of ten gyms 
in LA. Eight out of ten, seven out of ten, pretty much are are Golden Boy inspired gyms because of the Mexican, the, the influx of Mexican gyms here in LA. And uh, so I've been going there for some time. And I want to support this guy. Man, he's a good kid, man. 22, 23-year-old, 4-0. And, oh, and uh, he has a fight. I know I'm going off on a tangent on some other stuff. But I just want to just uh, just tell this story, you know. And uh, he's a good kid, 4-0, oh, strong fighter, makes me a better fighter. I train with him on the track. I run miles with him. I meet him at 9 o'clock in the gym. I run miles with him. So that goes to show you because people say, oh, you're just attacking Golden Boy, and I'm using Golden Boy in the correct name, out of respect for the uh, <laughs> out of respect for the fighter that I'm speaking of, man. And uh, so I just want that to be known, man. You know, it's not. It, it bothers me to some degree because I don't. I despise. Like I literally despise Oscar De La Hoya, and I'm using his name intentionally for the sake of you know. I don't want to be disrespectful in it. It, it, it tears back to him. He get the repercussions of it. But it just pains me that I want to 100% support this kid, man, because what he's done for me as a fighter, and he doesn't know this, but he inspires me. Like, he's cutting weight now. I'm cutting weight now. Uh, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, Silent Heroes, you guys will get a kick out of it. You know what I mean? I'm literally treating myself as though I got to fight June 15th. Or June fourteenth, when I weigh in and do my vitals and all that, I don't have a fight. I'm not fighting nobody, but uh, again, he has inspired me. And the same inspiration, or the similar inspiration that inspired me when I woke up Saturday morning, when I went to that press conference Friday afternoon, and then I went to Floyd Mayweather's uh, fight um, out at the Indian Casino. I woke up Saturday morning. And Town Biz says, say no more. We got you. We're going to wait till you drop this video. And I guarantee you, the LBDC got your back. I woke up Saturday morning from Ticket to 78, because they have the most subscribers in the LDBC, I believe, on down to guys like me. I have like 9,000. To guys like uh, Ticket TV, who has just over 1,000, and everyone else in between. Man, I'm truly appreciate, appreciative of you guys. Like, in real life, you know, like no bullshit, man. And uh, my appreciation for you guys is gonna is uh, I don't I don't I don't know many of you guys personally just through comments. I respond to your comments and we respond that way. But you guys are awesome. And uh, the great thing about it is is that it's ours. You understand what I'm saying? We control what comes out of that content. And in three or four years, hold tight, hold your water, keep on pushing. In three or four years, the tide is gonna turn. You know, the tide is gonna turn because what you get, in, what you get out of something is what you put into something, right? You gotta pay, you got to pay your uh, your balance eventually, and our balance is gonna be positive. We're gonna get returns, returns, returns. So stay strong. There's a lot of faithful subscribers. I'm talking to the subscribers too, man. Buy the shirts, buy the hats, wear them with pride. Because it's grassroots, black owned, I've donated, you know, and I'm not asking for a free shirt. I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to pay. I'm going to pay whatever it costs for a shirt. I just haven't decided what color I want yet. And I'm aware with pride. You know, I, I've seen this germinate because before my, I had my channels, I was listening to Dante. I was listening to 78. I was listening to Blood. I was listening. I mean, I was listening to everybody. I was even listening to T-Street and everyone else before I actually started my, although I was because I've been, I was doing boxing before I had my channel, you know, and, and the common sense, I, I, I see print media taking a nosedive and I'm like, I got to stay relevant somehow. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, at the end of the day, uh, I'm appreciative to LDBC and uh, I'm also appreciative to, you know, like people who's actually inspired me. LDBC has inspired me just as I'm cutting weight. I started at like 170. I'm down to like 158, 159, 160. You know, in 20, this is my 20th day. And that that kid, that's he doesn't have a golden boy contract. He's a Mexican fighter, strong fighter. But I consider him a part of my family. And 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 sometimes I get all the I, I get the racist comments. I never delete them because I want our I want the subscribers to know that we live in a real world. When they call me nigga, when they say I'm a homosexual, I'm a I'm a nigga this, nigga. I leave the comments intentionally 
to remind people that this is the real world and people actually genuinely hate you, you know, or hate the color of our skin. So, uh, so it's not just that, man. You know, I, I know I'm delivering two messages in the same video, but it, it's inspiring when people believe in you, you know, it's inspiring when a professional fighter motivates me every morning to get to the gym at nine o'clock every day so we can go run. And then go put in our 20, 30 rounds of uh, specific training. When I see him do a combination, I try and do the combination. <laughs> when I see him lead with his jab, I try and lead with my jab. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, Ed, and he's on a golden boy card at Belasco. I told him I donated money to his, uh, to his camp. You know, I donated money. And I said, you know, I, I said, I can't go to your, uh, I can't go to your fight. But I'm going to support you. I'm going to wear your shirt every day. I says, I don't have no respect for Oscar De La Hoya nor Golden Boy, but I want to support you. And it's a tough, it's it's tough when you've been when you've been friends with these people prior to what you ultimately believe in, you know. And um, I've struggled with that to some degree, but not struggle with it in terms of alienate them because I love these guys. I mean, I mean these trainers. These I've had black trainers, I've had Mexican trainers, I haven't had a white trainer. I have a Mexican trainer and a black trainer, and honestly, these Mexicans, not these, these are my friends. The Mexican trainers I've had have been have exceeded the black trainers, you know, without saying names. But uh, 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 I'm a better fighter today than I was three years ago. You know, I'm a novice, but I'm I'm a better fighter, and I and I have a better channel today because of the LDBC. You know what I'm saying? I know about 30%, 40% of my subscribers, we all share about 30, 40, maybe 50% of the same subscribers as we grow. And I'm just appreciative, man. That Saturday morning, I swear to God, confirmed in me that I'm doing the right thing. And that Saturday morning confirmed in me that there's a brotherhood, there's a synergy between us. Although we don't know each other, don't talk to each other. You know what I mean? But we... But we respect the guy who's at the top, which is, I mean, 78 is, is, is spearheading this. And, uh, but I'm, I, I'm just grateful, man. And I, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys as much as I can without, you know, like the, the blood love. But you guys get what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's, it's just that Saturday morning confirmed in me, you know what I mean, that, that we're we on the same page. So uh, enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. It also inspires, and, and, and it's two prong. I'm inspired by that fighter too. And people say I hate Golden Boy. It's not the Golden Boy fighters. It's the leadership of Golden Boy that I despise. The fighters don't have a clue. It, if I was, if a fighter came up to me and said, "Where should I go? Golden Boy, Al Heyman, top rank?" I'm gonna say PBC. You know, I have strong alliances with PBC. You guys know that. You know, it's no secret, but. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Uh, LDBC, you guys are awesome. I'm getting my ass in shape, Black Fight fan. I'm getting my ass in shape. Congratulations on you losing 50 pounds, man. You're going to get 78 in shape, and we're going to be fucking a 12-cylinder machine hitting, hitting boxing from all across America, which is going to be amazing in three or four years. So, uh, um, yeah, we're going to do this shit. I'm getting in shape. Um, just to inspire you guys, to challenge you guys, I am well under 10% body fat right now. I haven't did it. I haven't did my body fat measure, but I am well under 10% body fat. And uh, I feel amazing. Testosterone is fucking amazing. You know, like, like 70. I want to be able to do the fucking Dougie, nigga. Fuck the bullshit. <laughs> I'll never forget that. <laughs> you know, it's real subtle shit. As a man, you get it. You know, when another man speaks the truth about being a man, you respect it. And, and that's real talk. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Congratulations to the LDBC. And uh, we're going to get this, uh, this momentum is just brewing. And the subscribers, don't forget how powerful you are. We always recognize you guys. And, and it's great that the LDBC, I see the comment section. We always respond to our subscribers, which is fucking awesome. So enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Don't eat the pork. <laughs> Just if you're going to eat meat, try chicken first and then the red meat. But stay off that fucking pork. Pigs don't have sweat glands, man. I'll holler, man. Peace.